got a lot of Bobby Knight in you. You got a lot of fucking Bobby Knight in you. <laughs> We've seen him in two places. <laughs> seen him in a couple of places. Would you rather him Rick Majerus? Seen him in a couple of places. You got oh, a lot of Bobby Knight in you. Federal crimes he's bringing up, I didn't up, fucking Dave. say it. He's, he's got a lot of Bobby Knight crime. in you. Barstool Pick'em Week 6. Week 6. Brought to you by our friends at Game Time. Go check out Game Time right now. It is the exclusive ticketing app of Barstool Sports. Game Time has the best tickets out there, lowest prices. Uh, what game are you looking forward to, Rico? Let's say right now, if you could go to any game right this weekend and use the Game Time app, what would you pick? LSU Tennessee. That would be a good one. LSU Tennessee. We're going to talk about it. So we've had uh, tons of Barstool fans using it, letting us know about the great deals they're getting. It's so easy to use. Amazing deals. You're going to love it. Download the Game Time app. Go to the account tab to create a login and redeem code PICKEM for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Download Game Time last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. The promo code is PICKEM and you get $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Okay, week five, week six. Fuck. Five in the books. Five in the books. Uh,. How's everyone doing? We're we're looking Pat Hill update. Dave is still in first, fifty one percent. I'm in second, forty eight point three percent. Rico's in third, forty four point nine percent. In the Bob Diaco standings, Dave is a scalding hot five and one. Uh, Dukes in second, four and two, and then uh, almost had, of- almost had the pick and parlay. Yeah, uh, but R- Rico fell into that trap that he likes to do basically every week where he just watches somebody the week before, and then he's like, oh, they scored a lot of points this week. Well, I watched that means they'll score a lot of points again. They should have. The- Kent State had 714 yards on offense. No, I mean, you lost in Fumbles. overtime. You lost in over in overtime. I mean that's. Just, I've, I, listen, a lot I'm of points. relegated. Should have been a lot. Should have been a lot of points. Should have been a lot more points. And you did go silent the minute that you realized you weren't going to win. You went silent on Twitter. But that's could have used it. Could have really used it. I know. Um, Dave, how you feeling? Uh, the the last week that Arkansas play just killed uh, me. The guy who didn't get the first down. That was bad. That was like a hundred and fifty thousand dollar swing because I, I I've basically written off that Rico is gonna throw me a loser in the pick'em parlay. I still bet it, but I also put in my own and I did my three best picks and Arkansas would have cashed it. I also had Arkansas straight, so it, it that hurt. But overall I, I don't like the board this week at all. Really? I hate it. Hate it. Really, I don't, I don't have hurt. a great I feel a, either. I was forcing myself to take games. I it's I don't like it. I uh, can't remember myself not liking a board like this actually in a while. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I, I look at every board and I'm like, yep, 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 <laughs> yep. That's no surprise. Uh. Yeah. And Dave, you also, Dave is dealing. Everyone knows his internet issues and the hurricane. I think we may have fixed it. Okay. I um, and, and shout out to the Stoolies Barstool because. I don't, and I've said this, I don't know how anybody gets the internet fixed if you don't have somebody who's like, wait a minute, I know this guy and we're going to send our best people. Like I had, I had people crawling my, around my house for nine hours yesterday, but it, it appears to be fixed. Thank God. So I think we're in pretty good shape. Okay. Nice. Nice. And you, uh, yeah, the, the, you were the Arkansas game. You were watching Killed on me. YouTube TV. So I was texting you cause I had it as well. Updates. And you had to like ban me from. You're like, yeah. I can't take your updates for at least 30 seconds. So then, like, a big play would happen, and I would just stare at my phone, like, counting in my head when I could text you. Yeah. It was yeah. brutal. I was a little bit behind. Uh, and I don't know how that's going to shake out now because my TV was also – my internet kept buffering, so I kept falling behind. I'd have to speed up. So, yeah, I don't know how that's going to play out yeah, you, now. <laughs> I guess I will, I'm going to be in Jersey this weekend anyways and Saturday. Um, I'm going to be part of the – Met streams Friday night, Saturday. So I'll be in Jersey uh, this weekend, so that changes a little bit. You said your TV was behind or your TVs were behind? My TV was behind. Oh, okay. I'm in a rental house. So let's get into so the wait, uh, one- blog ranking. <laughs> let's get into the blog rankings just asking, for this week. Just ask. Uh, hey, one last thing, Dave. The, the best part was when Arkansas was like third and uh, five from the 15 or whatever. 
you texted me and you're like, there's like maybe a 15% chance we score here. And when you had texted me, I had already, already know, knew. I already knew that the guy didn't fucking get that first down. And I that just was unbelievable. unbelievable. If he just fell down straight, just it was the first time. He just, he, he just got frozen in mud. Oh, uh, the, the blog rankings this week, um, I got them again. Here we go. One, Riggs. Two, Jerry Thornton. Three, Marty Mush. Four, Clem. Uh, five, Nate. Six, Hub. Seven, Dante. Eight, Big Tennessee. Nine, Stephen Shea. Ten, Billy Football. Eleven, Matt Fitzgerald. Twelve, Kelly Keegs. Thirteen, Chief. Fourteen, White Sox Dave. Fifteen, Green. Wait, 16, slow down, Ohio. slow down. This has got to be when Rico's coming, right? Sixteen, Ohio's Tate. Seventeen, Tommy Smokes. Oh, Eighteen, Smitty. Shit. Nineteen, Jordy. Is Jordy even full time? Uh, Twenty, Pat. So uh, that that was that. Now I I he did. Where I believe he gave me the full ranking. Let me just uh, let me look this up. Do you, were you close to twenty? Working on it. They spiked my. They didn't do my. I did a dude perfect one. It never made it. What do you mean you're working on it though? I just did a Wisconsin one. Okay, yeah. so all right, here we go. Let's continue along the list here. Pat twenty, as I said. John Rich twenty one. Banks, 22. Malcolm Smutler, 23. Francis, 24. Chaps, 25. M Rags, 26. Jeff N- Nadu, um, which we got some info. I, I, you guys tracked down, Dan? Uh, dick? I, I thought you got his dick. N- no, I didn't get his dick. Oh, Glennie said. I, 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 I retweeted it, there, but and I reached out to the girl. I just said Nadu. Question mark, and she didn't write back. Oh, oh! So we got to still find the dick is still out on the loose. And I just want to say, as an aside, um, I know some people in this room don't like Jeff to do. I thought that was all class by him to say enjoy. Give us, a, yeah, enjoy. give us a tip. Give yeah. us a heads up. Get the people going. Yeah, I, uh, that that's what you do. Create a stir, make things happen. So Jeff to do. Not only is his dick on the loose, but he's number <laughs> twenty-seven on the blank uh, on the rankings. Ken Jack twenty-eight, Eddie twenty-nine. Uh, Robbie Fox, 30. Wait, how Lar- far do these go? Well, I got a special list. Oh, no. Because of of these rankings. Uh, a guy that I think, Rico, I don't know if we're on air, he took a shot at Chris Clemmer. Uh, mm-hmm. Chris Clemmer, 32. A lot of guys that you have a lot of issues, you call drunks, this, that, the other thing, seemingly doing more work than you. Uh RDT, 33. Chris Castellani, 34. PFT Comment at 35. K. Marco, 36. Dan Rapport, 37. Vindog, all due, all due respect, <laughs> I, think he's, I think he's in the hospital with cancer. Yeah. Vindog, Vindog from the hospital, uh, 38. Ben <laughs> Mitz, 39. El Presidente, 40. And then Rico Bosco, Kraken, 41. So now I, because I thought this thing was easier to look, I'm like, what the hell? I thought he's putting in the effort. I think he can get it on there. So I, you know, doing what I do, I'm like, maybe it's just he's putting in the effort. People aren't reading his blogs because he's blocked everybody. So last week, Rico Bosco um, wrote six blogs. Okay. When I look at the top 20, there is only one person who wrote less than six blogs, and that was five blogs, Smitty. Universally the worst worth work ethic here, Smitty. Um, so he wrote five. So what I have to fathom is he just isn't working as hard to get on that list. If 19 of the top 20 people wrote more than six blogs and you think you know we're going through this exercise, you'd think one week, Rico, you'd turn out like 20 or something. Like what, what I'm curious why do you think you can do the least amount to get on that list? I don't think I could do the least. It's finding what to put the pen to paper. I'm trying to figure it out. I can I interject for a second? I this has now just become fascinating to me. Because it's literally every week that he tells you to do something and every week you don't do it. It's it's quite fascinating. I don't I don't even know which side I'm rooting for anymore. I kind of am rooting for Rico to be like 60th next week and just 
like this. I, I, I did think it was going to be easy to, for him to get on this list. It wasn't like I wasn't trying to do some weird psychological Dr. Zimbardo experiment on him. <laughs> I was like, you know, his contract's coming up. We're in what? October. I'm well aware. I, I go through Erica. We have the contracts. And then there's one sitting alone on the side of a desk. And it, it's Rico Bosco. And I'm like, let me get some ammo. Let me get some stuff to help to, to, to be like, look at this guy. But it doesn't seem to be getting through. I thought I was helping. Well, I mean, six is not a lot. All I right. Mean, yeah. Dan, Cam it, okay. Dan and I Got came it. from an era where we wrote 10 to 15 a day. A day. Right. So to, to hear you can't find more than less than one a day, it's, I, you could see how that's tough to swallow. Yeah, banged out two today. We did pick central. I just did starting nine. We're doing this, doing pro fo Like, I got you. All right, yeah, I'll find more hours in the day. Don't do that. Whoa. Don't do that. I didn't, is it I didn't, hours don't in do the that. day? Yeah, don't really? Do that. Don't do that. Just as a tip, as a side tip, don't say you're doing other shows, and that's why you can't block. I'm not saying that. I didn't say that. Well, it was, it was, it was you got to find more said. hours in the How many hours do you think you work a day here? Curious. Dead serious. Seven? Oh. Trying to think. Ten, that yeah. sounded like a six was coming out. I mean, well, yeah. Six. I mean, by the way, most companies, that's not real work. That's a, like, that's a half day. That's 24 hours a week. No, that's 20 hours a week. Five days, six hours a day. We'll 30, seven, yeah. 30, 30, 30, 30. 30. So you, you're minus <laughs> Well, then add up the, yeah. <laughs> Four every, five every Sunday, whatever. Yeah. I don't know what to say. I, I'm, I'm out of this. You, you, it's you and Dave, and like I don't. I, well, no, it, it, I want to be a writer again, really badly, it, really. Badly. It's me and Rico, actually. Yeah, it's that's me what I'm and saying. Rico going to the powers that be at Penn, where they're watching the pennies, and me and Rico fighting for Rico. But I, you know, I don't want to just have Jay Snowden take out a Tommy gun and blow holes in me and Rico, and we got nothing to say. I think maybe this, you know, maybe a little like blogger education. I think the ultimate goal is getting more blogs up there. You guys came from an era of blogging. In your heyday, what do you think the quickest good blog every you could get up that quickly? Comes no, but like I'm saying, head. beginning, middle, end. How long? Every, every a thought. quick blog. Yeah. Obviously, there's different types of form. Minutes. Like yeah. it's simple. It's like yeah, you can just churn them out. You get it, it. Every thought, every thought that comes in your head is a blog. That's literally what it was. It was every waking thought became a block. And I get it. It was a different time. Like, I would wake up and work, and I'd work till midnight so Rico could run. Like, I, I sacrificed 10 years of my life so Rico could have five-hour work days. I get that. But we got to get it maybe throw in that extra hour. You don't need an hour to write a blog, half an hour, 45 minutes, but we'll say an hour. So if he just goes from a five-hour workday to a six, he goes from six blogs to 12, he's probably there based on, like, I was looking at these stats. I'm like, wait a minute, because I did know, I'm like, if he's, if he's writing the same amount as everybody else, I, I won't complain that much. It's like, what are you going to do? But he wasn't. 19 of the top 20, it's sheer effort again, and I, I don't know how to reconcile that when Jay Snowden takes out his Tommy gun and just, he's like, well, you know, we can't just throw money away for free. I know you like Rico. I know you guys have a long history. I know three presidencies, but he's going to shoot holes in all that. And we're going to just have big holes walking down the street with air going through. Swiss cheese. You're going to look like Swiss cheese. We're going to look like Swiss cheese, Rico. Swiss cheese. I'm your agent. I'm your best friend. He's throwing you a lifeline. I have a thought. Um, Dave, this is separate to this. Well, kind of separate, but not really. Um, we, I was tasked with uh, Cyber Monday coming up. What, what's the gimmick going to be this year? Because, you know, we've done, you've been buried alive. We had the dunk tank yep. last year. They wanted to do something with Jerry because the Steelers are playing Monday Night Football where, like, 
some competition where he can't watch and someone has to, you know, relay it to him um, like we've done in the past. I thought that was a good idea. I also it had, is, but the Steelers are st- – Oh, yeah, he's so into, Kenny, he's Kenny. So into pick it, yeah. I had another idea, though, too. Maybe we do both. Um, some kind of competition with Rico, and if he loses or if we get a certain amount of sales, uh, he has to blog 100 blogs in a week. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's incapable, I think, of it. <laughs> How great would that be, though? That would be a great See, I challenge. told you I have your back, my man. I know you can't do that. <laughs> it would be a great – it would get the buzz going. If we got to blog 100 <laughs> blogs in a week, that would be fun, Rico. Would you be into it? 100 in a week? Yeah. 100 blogs in a week. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that would be, what, end of November? Yeah. Yeah, I don't have to watch college basketball anymore. We made that <laughs> evident. So, yeah, I probably could do that, 100 in a week. I think yeah. I, I think I got to figure out the details. Got nothing going on late but November. Something anymore. where where Rico has to blog one hundred times. It starts <laughs> midnight at, on Monday so, and ends midnight uh, Sunday. I, I'm not a math guy. What's seven divided by a hundred? Like fifteen? Yeah, something like that. Like fourteen blogs. I got it. Yeah, it's Duke's tough. got it. Let's go, Dukes. He's using his calculator. Dave, that's about fourteen point two eight blogs. Wow, I mean, it's doable. I'm sure I've blogged a hundred times in a week. Yes, definitely. You could do it. Yeah, because we, yeah, I mean, back in the day, it was literally like 12 to 15 a day. Yeah, every day. No days off. Could you do 100 blogs in a week? Sure. I, I, I'm not trying to be a jerk. We're separated, so I'm not rubbing it in. We could even cut this if I wanted. I'm just fascinated. You know I want you on this list. Why haven't you, this is what, a month now? Why haven't you just been like, you know what? I'm going to shut his ass up, and I'm going to get myself on this list. I am doing the best I can to get on that list. I think, like, I, I don't, I'm not just, you have, so, I, I'm not you cranking like, out the quick, like, what, 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 what is wrong with you then? Like, <laughs> what, uh, what do you mean? You wrote six blogs, Rico. That's what it's like. We got to get you like a coach and a stopwatch, and you can just write a blog in, in, in a minute. Like, that's what you need to get in the, in the habit of doing, and you'll, I wrote you'll the dude on perfect there. one. They didn't put it up. But like you don't write any bang them out blogs. There's there's a there's a mix. When they blogged, it was like ten blogs a day. It was probably perfect, five of yes, them were like correct. quick. Like here's a thought and no, a picture it was a and rhythm. like a, a it, it paragraph. Was, yeah, and then like was, here's a long three paragraph like storytelling blog. Every day was the same. It was a rhythm. You would basically find like two or three quick blogs, get them up, then work on a long blog, get that up, then do the two to three. And like you just do that yeah. over and over. And you and, and I know I'm not asking. I don't like I would write a couple at night before I went to bed. I'd yep. have them scheduled. And then when those go, I would. Ha- I'm not asking to do that. But like last night, Aaron Judge, the home run, right? And the Braves win. So I made like. Took me a little while to figure out the green screen video, but once I figure out the green screen video, it's a new era. There's new. T- it's actually easier now because really, like when we were going, it was all written. There's a lot more video. Is it like that? Took me three minutes. The yeah, communication from editors is don't just put a video in the blog. So no, but you can like write like. You can essentially like you write what write you said in the video. Like you could write, say it on the video and then to write out the same then, exact thoughts. You, right. You can literally below it. You like I could have. And, and by the way, I got a congratulatory note from Nate last night, editor Nate, when I did my Iron Judge. He goes, "That's great work." I go, "Thank you, Nate." Wow. You actually blogged it on HQ. I think they take what I do. I don't think. Oh yeah, I was gonna say that. That would have been. I, I've only been on HQ like twice. Yeah. But again. That's like, I, it, it is hard because I'm the one dictating. And I don't do it as much anymore, but it, it, you can't, that's like Tom Brady. He, Tom Brady, you know, he's like, I'm going to skip training camp, you know, fine. But a guy who's basically a rookie contract, you can't do that. Rico, I can hold you uh, responsible if you want to. I'll make sure you don't leave without writing one blog. Ooh, sure. That's good. So then I could take the downfall with you. The buddy system. Look at that. Dude that, just I like came that. in the hole. Right in. I like that. That's the buddy system. Dude. We, we maybe should start doing that at yeah. stool. The buddy system. It, Mate, can we get like a shock collar on you? Yeah. And Dukes controls it. Like he presses when you write the blog. If not, you walk through that door. And, uh, yeah, and I do like the old school, like uh, when you're 
you're at the pool when you're a kid. I just blow a whistle every now and then. You got to go hold up your buddy's hand, being like, "Here I am." It's Dukes and Rico, the buddy system. <laughs> I that like works. that, Dukes. Great idea. Give him the TikTok numbers. Uh, uh come on, man. <laughs> That. He, he like I, I told him I was like I gave him a little pep up I'm like I know the blog ranking is gonna come up Rico had you know I think the fourth most posts on TikTok last week out of content creators which was six so if you're looking at the blogs he had six TikToks last week I was like bring those up during the episode wait so all the tick yeah he... are those correlated every blog is the is that what is that why it's six no. no no but you can make these TikToks oh you're trying to blogs. grow like I'm a video guy you're trying to grow I'm um. Why are you video? I find your writing good. <laughs> yeah, but I, I I take a lot of pride in I like the long form type stuff. That's why part two is still being penned. Like I'm not I'm not <laughs> rushing that book. George R. R. Martin. You're talking about the Saved by the Saved Bell. By it's Bell. close. Yeah, well, it's yeah, close. That may, that but may it's may like a it's like a fine career. bread. That's seven years. It's like a that's fine like a bread in the you. oven. You like what did you think of White Sox Dave when he's like I just wrote a three-hour blog on the White Sox that I know nobody's going to read. But if I wanted to, I could be number one blogger on that list every week. It would take me two minutes. Dude, if you posted ass and titties like like every hour just for an entire day, you'd be top five. They, they did put that in the note in the email, though, that that's not true anymore. Oh, really? Yeah. Ass and titties are out of style? What? What was, the fuck? Not note. my internet. That's bullshit. People don't click on ass and titties? Censorship. Hold on, I'll pull up the exact line. I think it was more just what like... What does this world come to? Well, that, well, I, I did say that, like, well, Rico... or what? No, it was White Sox Dave, actually. Unfortunately, I'm starting to get those two confused. I don't oh, know what no. that says. Oh, um, well, one will still be here in January. But. I got it. Smut blogs aren't also auto-page views like they were back in the day. Keep in mind. What? I read the emails. This... But I what will is say, this like, internet? White Sox Dave proved that. White Sox Dave's like, it's smut. I only do smut. The White Sox Dave's biggest week, we had two blogs that were both, like, not smut. Like, but last night, you don't like the Yankees, right? Hate the Yankees. All right, Judge breaks the record. Y you're a Mets fan, right? Yeah. Braves clinched. You write anything? No, I didn't. Swiss cheese. <laughs> Where's it gonna come? Jay Snowden company. Those Tommy guns are gonna be just blowing us away. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump in front of you, Rico. And I'm gonna go down first. Just Appreciate smoking it. Smoking holes. Just riddled. We, it may be holes. a dinner at Luger's where we think we're celebrating new contract. They come out from behind the kitchen. <laughs> Tommy guns blowing away. Steaks everywhere. And we're just, we just got holes in us. Somehow, I think that would be less worse than the company you picked for your last dinner at Lugas, but that's just me. Who is that? <laughs> Dan? <laughs> Who is that? Cowboy. Oh. Oh, the Cowboy? I'd rather get killed than have dinner with him, but that's just me. Okay. <clears throat> There's a blog. <laughs> yeah, people, you, <laughs> people you would for all the for all the shit to it, right? You ran, no, ten, you ran this no, guy no, out. You ran him out. Die. Where's that? Like, oh, you know, you run ten, these guys out. He really turned into a fucking star die. too. He really die turned into a fucking star right? too, right? Dave, I did you a fucking favor. That's what I fucking did. I did you a fucking what? favor. <laughs> you run these guys out. You run them out. One's one's in court for fucking lying, and the other one you couldn't find on the fucking internet. What are you talking about? What are you talking what? about? No, I asked you. I don't know what you're talking about. You, I get a bad rap. You run these guys out. You run these guys out. Like, oh, you really well, cost you do us. run them out. Where, okay. They really turned out to be fucking stars. Well, yeah, you got to be here, right? If you're a star, you, you think can do it on. You, you love to say we coach talent, right? We co Okay, where, then where'd they go? Well, what about you? Yeah, this is not going to go well. We we already know that we know that we know that though but we that, know that. <laughs> but we this know is that. about you. I'm just saying. I'm trying to coach you as best a human can coach another human, and you don't want to be coached. 
Come on. Dude, you, got, you, got a lot, you got a lot of Bobby Knight in you. You got a lot of fucking Bobby Knight in you. <laughs> We've seen <laughs> him in two places. <laughs> seen him in a couple of places. Would you rather him Rick Majerus? Seen him in a couple of places. You got oh, a lot of Bobby Knight in you. Federal crimes he's bringing up, I didn't up, fucking Dave. say it. You just he's got a lot of Bobby Knight crimes. in you. You got a lot of Bobby Knight. Just, he federal crimes what? you. Just saying. I didn't hear what he said. He said you got a lot of Bobby Knight in you in two places. Bo- both coaching Rico oh. and federal crime. I said oh. head. I mean head and heart. He got a lot of choking him. That's what I'm I, saying. Listen, I Bobby Knight. He 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 had a perfect team. He got their guys to play. Do you want to be coached? Are you coachable? Yeah. Do you want him to shit don't, in a towel like Rick Majerus? Don't say that. Rick was a phenomenal coach. <laughs> His book, by the way, My Life on a Napkin, is probably the best sports book out there. Do then I, I'm telling you. That's a blog. Yeah, that's a blog. I, I want all right, Rico. Here we go. Uh, sports 15 books. Fifteen blogs. I want fifteen blogs next week, and you'll be on that list. We got this. He we, Dave, not not okay. Less. We'll, you're gonna do it, right? Set the parameters, though. They're telling me just don't put a video up as the blog. But what we he, talked about? This. He just gave you two blogs. You, t- ten, ten people you would you would rather die than go to dinner with, and then yes. you can reverse it. Ten ways you'd rather die than go to dinner with the cowboy. Yes. That's two blogs. But that was such a dark time when he was here, putting his name back on the blog like I have so a moral just, problem. Right, Call him the cowboy. Don't, don't, put, don't, put them, don't put him on. Just say 10 or M1 unnamed. Yeah. JR. JR? Who's JR? Johnny Boy. Who? John. Let's do. You know who I'm talking about, Rico? Yeah, I know who you're talking Who about. Who is he talking about? Yeah. Uh, Say College it. basketball guy, John Rothstein. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, you want to you want to kill yourself then eat with him? He's he's it's some violent. What's wrong with him? Some violent. Because he has your dream job? No, because he he's a hater. Publicly tries to embarrass me on Fourth of July. Come weekend. on your shoe. shoe? Yeah, we got we have some problems. Whatever. Come on your shoe. But he's your but guy. But you're not so in his. Go, you're not, you're no, not you can do whatever you want. Anymore. Do whatever away you from want. that. Go ahead. Do whatever you want. Got to stay away from the guys. I'm letting you do whatever you want. What's your go, What's your dream big fence job, I, Rico? Hold on. What's your dream job? Before you answer that, I am giving Rico full permission to do whatever he wants with John Rothstein. I do not care. I will still be friends with him. You do whatever you want. So now you can't play that game back to me. Done. On the record. Done. I want to coach you, Rico. I want to ride you like a fucking horse. But you don't. You you want you don't take any coaching or criticism. You're stubborn, and you're not good enough to be stubborn. You know, like Manny Ramirez threw the traveling secretary for the Red Sox down a flight of stairs. He's in left field the next day. You're not Manny Ramirez. Okay. What? So, do you want me to coach you? Yeah. What is your dream job here? Not an but style. doing what? Just like being a college basketball insider? I didn't say that. Okay. Obviously, I'm so going to coach you up. We're going to start. It's an easy task. 15 blogs published. No, and we, and then you're going to be on that 20 list. And then we're going to be off and running. And we're going to go in. And when they come out of those doors at Luger's, we're going to duck. We're going to have, and we're going to be able to throw a little fucking bread grenade back over the top. You know, we're going to be like, we're here. Hey, Jay, snow. Oh, no, he froze. 20. Oh, no. Uh, mid No. <laughs> you froze at the end of that fucking speech. That was incredible. I we throw it over the, the bread grenade. And when Jay's shooting at us at Luger's, we're going to be a, hey, Jay, look up the stats mid October. 15 logs, <laughs> top 20. We're going to have a little ammo. Sign the paperwork, Jay. Got yeah, it. I know it looks like a bloated contract. Three presidencies. <laughs> Top 20, mid-October, 2022. <laughs> One week out of the year. We're going to have something. You got something. You got a fighting chance. Yep. You just need a chip in a chair. You're going to be somebody. Got be it. somebody. Come on, Rico. 15 uh, blogs. And you have dues now. It's, and it's I will. Wrap. I will. I'll do this. This is now. I'm being very gracious. Dukes is your buddy. He's a buddy system. I'll buddy system Dukes. I will make sure Dukes is buddying you. Maybe now you have a set up a pipeline of ideas. Yeah, like I'll give you send them. We'll treat you like an infant. We're gonna teach you how to walk. You're crawling right now. You don't know what you're doing. You're you're drooling out your mouth. You're on the ground. You you don't even know how to crawl. We're gonna turn you into a man, Rico. A masculine man. I'm going to give you 10 blog ideas. I'm going to literally give you 10 blog ideas. 10. I, I also have a Grammarly account if you need help with any of that. 
like English. I don't language. even know what that is, but I like it. Yeah. Here's the thing. There's some people in this company I don't get on because it's like, you know, that's the problem. When the coach stops talking to you, that's when you got to be worried. I'm still talking, and I also think you can write. Like, I don't. If, if I don't think someone can write, I don't tell them just to write to spite them and be an asshole. I think your blogs are good. I remember the days when I was going to bat for you versus K. Marco being like, why didn't you publish Rico's blog? It was great. I remember those days. Yeah, I was banned. You're not banned now. You, the only thing banning you is a lack of effort. All right. All right, do the ad. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give him five blog ideas while he does the ad. Ready for this? All right. Yeah. Yes. Rico! All right, let's tell you about our friends at Roman. Roman swipes are convenient over-the-counter swipes that are clinically proven to help you last longer in bed. They're uniquely formulated to reduce overstimulation without eliminating sensation altogether. In a 2019 study, they were proven to increase time to orgasm by more than four times. To use, remove the disposable swipe from its discreet pocket-sized pack, wipe on the most sensitive parts of your penis, and allow to dry for five minutes. <laughs> Attaboy, Rico! When used as directed, Roman swipes leave no scent or taste, so there is no transfer to your partner. They are safe, effective, and no prescription is needed. All swipe orders include free two-day shipping and arrive in unmarked packaging. Try today for as little as two seventy-five per swipe. Try swipes today with a special offer for just our listeners. Get 20% off your first order at GetRoman.com slash Pick'em today. That's GetRoman.com slash Pick'em, P-I-C-K-E-M, for 20% off. Boom. Five blog ideas. Read them out. Let's go. Read them. College basketball futures. Well, yeah. Done. Right. Okay. Easy. You want a non-college basketball read, guy? Yeah, no, it? read them all. Read them all. all right. Chivalry isn't dead. Rico Bosco way. Yes. Remember, I want to remember, <laughs> remember the time Mr. Belvedere got his balls crushed. I don't even know what that is. That's well. Now you can let everyone know. <laughs> Best appetizers. It's just done. Okay. This one seems problematic. Let's say it. Why H-Man had some good ideas. There it is. Five blogs. Okay. Done. Happy Yom Kippur, by the way. <laughs> Done. I haven't eaten a thing today. <laughs> That's five I, I, golden I, blogs. And by the way, Rico, <laughs> just so you know, I'm on your side. You but got a hell of a way of showing it. I'm coaching you up. <laughs> I'm coaching you up every day. I'm, I'm, I'm talking. We're having staff meetings, and we're going over. He's it's the like, real how can we skip? get Rico to play? Yeah, he, that's true. He is the real skip. And I love Dirk, but he's the real skip. Like, did you see, and I'll send another one. Did you see um, Aaron Judge, his dad gave him, like, the high Hitler sign? Did you see that video going viral? I hadn't seen that one, no. So it, he was saying elevate the ball, but it looked like he did a high Hitler. And Judge's wife or girlfriend or whatever, like, gave a look, like, what are you doing? Now, I could have tweeted at you, let's add, because people are going back and forth. I'm like, hey, Rico. Like, can you break this down for me? Yeah. Because you are an expert on the H-Man. But another way to look at it is if you don't like the Yankees, you could have spun that. Yeah. Of course. You know, it's out there. But you're probably, I don't know how much you're online, you know, when, when you're not in the office or in the office. But but that was me getting in your hole because I, I know that a lot of people think you're an H-Man guy, but I didn't equate you to that because There's it was out. There's also kick I, I wrote the judge blog with the TikTok that had 114 view, 114,000 views, and Hubs is like, yo, I'm blogging judges thing. I'm like, All right. But so, you have I mean, a different angle. I, I, I do report, and like, I, don't, I don't get out of line. But like, you just I tell respect me, order. I, I'm respect not – the you hierarchy. You have a different you angle. You don't get out of line. You can elevate that though. To now, you got Big Cat, and you can. I'm, well, no, you can tell well, no, Dudes. Dudes. Tell Dudes. I'll and then tell Dudes. Tell Big Cat. Dan and I have the authority to go in and press publish. Yeah. Okay. The pay, the, the, well, the, no, the, Dave, the state pen one with Archie Manning. I wrote a whole thing that they brought in an illegal player. Never saw the light of day. I'm not like again. I'm not complaining. You tell just, someone. Dave, you actually just so we're clear the hierarchy. One. You have to ask me, and then I have to ask Dukes fine if you see something say something mm -hmm. also for the record i have five blog ideas for you so now you have 10 whoa okay. let's hear him dukes let's hey hear him. Give him, uh, oh here we go dukes i said uh what the world would look like if Derek jeter did play third base oh i said the perspective of the high noon can you could write a blog from the high noon oh can space, right? i like that and then every week just write a pick em recap from like how you viewed it and how you think it went that's yeah, an that easy recap that everyone would read. scales weekly yeah, yeah. scales weekly and then i, I have an idea 
things, uh, top five things I got to talk to my therapist because of Dave. Yeah. And then you could just do top five things I have to talk to my therapist because of Dan. Ways I've been, top five ways I've been treated unfairly this week. <laughs> Uh, how how you got Charlotte so wrong? Because they stink, man. Oh yeah, that's a good blog. Yeah. Yep. And Put them in Scales Weekly. See how this all feeds yeah, itself. The ecosystem. Yeah. And then give like a scale of the week. Yeah. All right. Dukes. Well, it could be in the news. But yeah, Dukes is working his way up there. Oh yeah. How about, the how about how about open letters to people you've run out of this company? That would be great. Yeah. Like looking back. Like Player Tribune. Like yeah. <laughs> I'm just like Conor McGregor. I apologize for absolutely nothing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. These are good ideas. Hank, you got an idea for him? Uh, tweets that I checked the favorites on and then blocked everyone who did it. Yeah. I think the a little, you know, you block everyone, I think a little behind the behind the curtain of behind like, the block. It's not just people tweeting at you. It's like <laughs> if someone if someone tweets anything and you you go into the favorites and then block them. Yeah. Okay. Behind the block is a good one. What about like Top five jobs I'm gonna go after if I'm not here at the end of the year. Yeah, that would be interesting. That would be depressing, but you would, I'm sure you would get. Sick, no, but you could. That's a comedic. That. Like, yeah, that's, that's a, funny. That's a funny. Like, it's funny for you. No, like you could write it in a funny <laughs> way. You don't seem very coachable. <laughs> you seem like you have a problem with the skip. I think mocking somebody's unemployment is a little tough, but I mean, you guys have a sick sense of humor, so. But you All do right. it. <laughs> yeah, you do. You just did it with with the cowboy. But with you, it's a reality. Wait, what? But you just you no, it's reality with them. You yeah, you, you they're, you're in you fantasy. actually have a job. <laughs> yeah, you have a job. It's the reverse. <laughs> the yeah. actual literal reverse. <laughs> Got it. Got it. <laughs> if you're on that list, you got no holes. All right. And I, more importantly, together, you and I are going in this thing together. Mm -hmm. What about uh, top 10 holes you'd come in? Yeah. Kelly Kapowski. She's married. Okay. That would have to be like so, pre-2004-ish. Yeah, pre okay. Yeah. Well, I okay. mean, you're married. It's, it's not a literal yeah. thing. It's just right? holes you'd come in. Yeah, fair. And it doesn't have to be a female. That's where your mind went. Yeah. You could just be like, I'll come in this hole. I'll come in that hole. I'll come in every hole. Yeah. See that pumpkin over there? Boom. I'll come in it. Would That's, be some, that, that, yeah. those, are, those are bad blogs. Oh, yeah, those are bad. Yeah, we almost got canceled for chaps wanting to pipe pipe down a pumpkin. Um, that seems like the second most problematic thing he's ever okay. done. Okay, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> the faces he makes. It's crazy. It's crazy. He, he He's a certified bad guy. Yeah. I, oh, that? Huh? No, yeah. you. No, oh, you. You. 15 blogs. You got this. I always like the police force. So. All right, stop. You got this. 15 blogs. I thought Dave was pro cops, too. You but. got this. 15 blogs. I've seen you. I am. Okay. Tough. 15 blogs. Got it. You got this. Rico. Would be something to Rico. throw a throw a rope Rico. in the hole in, in fucking a crater in the moon. That would be something. <laughs> like throw, you're saying come, hole in, like coming holes Yeah Throwing a rope in the moon A crater in the moon would be something Yeah, yeah. There it is New life That would be cool Volcano Probably no, dangerous No that gets dangerous yeah. yeah Right But I'm just thinking you know Yeah yeah I Out loud Coming holes We got this All right. that hole Yeah I feel good about this Katie you got a blog for him? Katie's just sitting here the whole time She didn't say anything <laughs> Probably do what would ha what would have to happen for you to unblock people. Oh unblock yeah, them. unblock like people. Like healthy yeah. over, be friends with Don Rothstein. You should actually no. This is actually a real like they're all serious. But like if you actually found one person that you blocked every single week and did like an email correspondence with them behind the block, that would be fascinating. Being like, what's your deal? What's your deal? Like that would be fascinating. Like, I blocked you for this. Why'd you like? Why'd you like this tweet? Skell. And they can they can basically go to court with you okay. and plead their case to be unblocked. That'd be nice. That'd be you nice. have an interesting contact list too. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, possibly the best on the East Coast. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Just call up Jared Grasso. Talk he's, some X's and O's. He's coming into town tomorrow. He's speaking at an event. Oh, beautiful! You gonna go? I can't make it. Damn. What do you got? Well, work? I got an obstacle. Work. Uh, work. 
Thursday night stream? Yeah, I'll be there. I created this list in 2013. Don't say list. Don't say list. Don't say list. Hey, like and subscribe, Barstool Sportsbook on YouTube. Like and subscribe. Don't say list. Don't say list. Um, okay, let's do some picks. <laughs> let's do the card. Let's do some picks. We got six games. It's usually five. I forgot because they're not ranked. So we'll start with the Red River Shootout because we always have to talk about the Red River Shootout. And there's five other games after that. It's crazy. Texas and Oklahoma, both unranked. Oklahoma looks like dog shit. Texas has Horrible. struggled a couple times. Texas is minus seven, over under 65. Rico, I'll start with you. I hate it, but I think there's a little bit of buyback opportunity here with Oklahoma. Mm. I would say Oklahoma plus the seven. Mm. It's a little bit of an overreaction. I think Texas is very good, but it's crazy to think – I don't know. I don't. It's. I mean, they're probably going to lose the game, but Oklahoma's going to have what three conference losses before Columbus Day? When was the last time that fucking happened? Every year. Oh, Oklahoma. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, yeah. So I think there's a little buyback. I'd say Oklahoma plus the seven. I think it kind of comes down to it. They got to show some fight. Venables got to get them turned around. Uh, I don't love it, but I just I'm betting the number, not the team. It's Oklahoma plus seven. Uh, is is uh Dylan Gabriel playing or is it going to be General he, Booty? I, I I can't imagine he's playing. Yeah, he yeah. it's not even game time decision. It's like just a he's status out. is unknown. He was seen in practicing but in a like a penny, not even no pass. Yeah. Is General Booty decent? Uh, he came from Juco, but uh, still not Dylan Gabriel. And then Quinn Ewers should be playing. Yeah. Oh, then. Yeah, I'm taking Texas -7. Things. Um I do I I actually think that your reasoning is correct though Rico like I'm take I'm taking the opposite side yeah, but, Ewers, but your argument you're making yeah but now does you, make sense that, I didn't like, know Ewers was a go well he's not officially all right so then that that could be a flip that could 100% be a flip I'm not betting the game but that could be a flip well you have to make a pick I would say Oklahoma, Oklahoma right now seven. straight number all right uh Dave and also this I al always take the over always take the over in this game I have to this, this probably would be my number one game to go to it's it's kind of a bucket list game I'd love to go to the Red River rivalry one year um I agree with a lot of what Rico said I'm not going to lay 7 points in this game I think both teams aren't very good so I'll take Oklahoma in the over I don't think I'm going to lay real money on it if I did it would be on the over for pick I'm going to go uh, OU in the over okay um by the and by the way this this game theoretically if my memory serves like how like how the teams are don't matter like there's a long period where Oklahoma was very good Texas was horrible and they still played close yeah that's true um the uh the yeah this game i just i mean you ha i i always bet the over this game speaking of which i, I should have said we have another game that we all auto have to bet bc plus 21 red bandana That's game the red yeah, red bandana who are they playing clemson. clemson i will say they haven't it, again i i think i've gotten off this this used to be an auto bet for me but i don't think they've done much and they are horrific yeah i I am not going to auto bet that. Oh, okay. If anything, I would say Clemson. They're bad. BC is bad. I would. Yeah. And if you like go look the at the the red bandana, I don't think they've done very well the last couple of years. Yeah, since we've been. It hasn't. Anything. All right, so we're not we're not auto betting it. No. I'm not auto. I would that. bet so, the over if you had to, but I'm not. I don't like it. Big big moment for Osama bin Arya. <laughs> He's he was right like three years ago when he when he refused to bet the red bandana game. <laughs> He's back. He's on the right side. Oh, he took side. the opposite. Yeah, he took the opposite. That's right. <laughs> um, okay. Money's green. Uh, all right. Fine. We won't, we won't auto bet. I, I do think, by the way, just speaking in general, Clemson's 16 to 1. I don't hate it. I think they're going to win. They're going to win the ACC. They just went through their toughest part of their schedule, Wake and NC State. Can they win a college football playoff game? I don't know. But if you get there and they're 16 to 1, I. I actually think. Well, I mean, it's certainly though, Georgia certainly came down to earth quickly the last two weeks. So who yeah. knows? Yeah, Georgia and Alabama. Obviously, Bryce Young's been hurt. Ohio State looks really good, but they have a collision course with Michigan, who's looked good, and Penn State's going to be in the mix there. Like, there's the Pac-12 is going to Pac-12 is going to kind of knock each other out. I think the Big 12 is going to knock he, each other there's out. There's nothing Rico loves doing more 
than taking the Big 12 and the Pac-12 out of national title contention. Why Loves do you, it. Why do you think the Pac-12 is going to knock each other out? There's a lot of good teams in the mix. Uh, oh, I agree. Get, I don't think they're going to be in it. You, you, but like, USC, I think, has a real test this week against Wazoo. I love this Wazoo team. USC is going to look we'll – get, we'll get to it. USC is going to look ahead with Utah next week. Yeah, but the uh, winner of US- that is, is very much still alive. Like, Utah can get to the college football right, so playoff pl- with one loss being Florida week okay, but, one. Okay, so play out this scenario, though. UCLA beats Utah this week, which is very possible, and then Utah beats USC next week. Now all your premier contenders in the Big Twelve uh, in the Pac-12 all have one loss with no wiggle room. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm just saying. It's, it's, look, I, it's happened it can a lot. I, I, I don't think there's going to be a Pac-12 team in exactly. there. Exactly, but... I, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm just you like bringing that up. I think I I think the odds are always against the Pac-12 being in right. There. Yeah, so Clemson with one loss I think is a good play. Oh, I don't, I, that's what I'm getting back to. The ACC. I don't know. I don't think Clemson's going to lose again. I think they're they're DJ Ungoleli is playing very well. Their defense, like they've had a lot of guys out and they're still playing well. I I think Clemson's going to the college football playoff. It's just the question when you put a 16 to one bet in is do you think they could possibly win a game? Or or the flip side, do you think that game that they play will be a short line? Do you think it will be yeah, less no, you, than a touchdown? Yeah, you should hedge out. Yeah. If, you, if they're in the playoffs, you'd hedge out. So I, that would be my to. pick right now, just knowing that they're probably not going to win at all, but you'd have a chance to to potentially hedge out with 16-1. to Because, I the, again, they went through Wake and NC State. Who else is going to test them? Florida State, do they play? Florida State could theoretically. Yeah, Florida State's don't. Let's see where they play Florida State. If they play it at Clemson, I that's they play at at Florida State. Oh, they do. Okay, all right. So yeah, there's 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 a potential. Do they get Notre? Not that it matters. They get Notre Dame late that's in season next week. Two? Oh yeah, they have Notre Dame at home though. Yeah, and, but that does is Notre Dame what Notre Dame's ACC? Yeah, well, they no, play they six just game play ACC, ACC schedule. Schedule. Yeah. schedule. Yeah, but that's not against. They could lose that. That doesn't. Yeah, they'll still be. They lose that. They still go to the ACC title game. They win that. They go. Yeah. Um, all right, so that was an aside. Uh, let's go to the next game. Great game. Noon, packed noon slate. Tennessee at LSU, LSU plus three, over under 65. Um, I love this game just because I don't know if you guys saw, but Brian Kelly was asked about the 2010 game, 13 guys on the field, and he just, like, had no – he, like, didn't yeah. know that it happened. It's like, dude, you're coaching then. Like, that was a pretty big game. Um, and Tennessee's wearing their smoky gray uniforms, which I don't like, but I don't like them either. Yeah. I don't, I don't know why they're doing that. Um, that game, by the way, if you don't know what game we're talking about, 2010, you've never seen a game that a team won and then lost more than that. They literally, the game was over. They were running to the locker room and the refs came back out and they're like, yeah, there was 13 guys on the field for Tennessee. Not 12, not 12, 13. They got LSU got to run one more play. They run it in, win the game, like one of the all-time switcheroos you've ever seen. Five downs, Colorado. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was like one of those games that, like, if if it happened now with social media, it would just be trending for the rest of the day because it was all-time. Would you say LSU has been in – I mean, obviously Cal Stanford, the band on the field, but uh, and the five downs, but the other one was uh, LSU was involved in that miracle when they dumped the Gatorade on the guy, right? Kentucky? Or am I remembering that wrong? You're talking about the over- seven overtimes against Texas A&M? No, I'm talking about where they dump the Gatorade on the coach, and he's like, what are you doing? And the bomb, the deflection, deflection, and the guy catches the ball? Oh, yeah, we were looking for That's that. That's the one we were looking yeah. at the other day. Yeah, I think it was. I think it was. Yeah, I mean, LSU's always in crazy games. It's just like Google, the- like, Kentucky Yeah, no, Gatorade that was what we were looking early. at the other day. Is it LSU? I can't remember. I think it was Georgia, actually. I don't think so. So I'm seeing LSU premature uh, Gatorade celebration with Ed O. Thank you. And oh, that, that's the Texas LSU, A&M. Texas A&M. And then I'm seeing something about a bluegrass miracle. Yes, and, that's the one. So which which one? Blue glass, br- bluegrass miracle. Who was involved in that game? That wasn't the one we were talking about, Dave. Yeah, the premature Gatorade bath was LSU, Texas A&M. We were talking I about, I think, Georgia Auburn, I believe, Dave. Remember that? When we were the one that, like, it hits someone else and he catches it running down the field. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Those fucking heads. I mean, there's a lot of these, but anyways. Yeah. So what do we got? It, what, um, LSU Tennessee. Tennessee is a three point favorite in Baton Rouge. Noon kickoff. Over under is sixty five. I'm taking LSU in the over. Okay. Rico, I'm taking the over as well. Um, I'm not. I'm staying away from the side. I lean Tennessee, but it's just like we just said. There's weird games at LSU. Um, Tennessee's pace is insane. 
LSU, uh, they actually play a little bit faster. They Brian Kelly had a quote this week that's saying that they don't want to – he wants to get away from playing as conservative as they have been playing, take some shots deep. I think that uh, Tennessee's defense will allow that because it's not that strong. Uh, so I'm taking the over in this game 65. Rico. The line is pointing towards LSU, um, but I don't love – what Jaden Daniels has done under center. I think Tennessee is getting primed to keep going through these tests and get to the showdown with Alabama. I think Tennessee gets through it. I'm going to take Tennessee as much as it is like a rat line. Dan, you've definitely – so Lorenzen was the guy involved. Yeah, no, we were talking about something else last week. you've definitely seen this clip. Yes, yes, of course. And then, of course. yes. Yes. Yeah, LSU's in weird games. They just are yeah, in exactly. weird games. The, 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 remember the famous uh, fake, fake Kentucky field goal? Kentucky lost that game, Yeah, no? yes. Yeah, Kentucky yeah. got dumped. Yeah, I, I for, the LSU deep, but won. I do know LSU was involved in it, and LSU and LSU won the Tennessee game. So it's not just losses. I just meant yeah, crazy yeah, yeah. games. Yeah, yeah, all. no, yeah. they're they are a crazy game school. Yeah, that's just a fact. Um, okay, so you have I never knew Jared was the guy who dumped it. So you have LSU. No, I'm gonna take Tennessee. Tennessee. Dave has LSU in the over. I have the over. Um, I am. By the way, I am. I have retired from my under phase. F- feels good. Done with it. Hated it. Hated every second of the last two weeks. Uh, TCU, my it was actually the Oklahoma State Baylor game that killed me, because that game was like it was like sixteen to like three at halftime, and they came out opening kick returned like touchdown. T- it was like thirty five points scored in the third quarter. I was like, I'm done with this. I'm done with this. TCU minus seven against Kansas. I've already tweeted this in my lock of the week. Um, I'm still relegating myself. Uh, until I get above 500. TCU minus Kansas. TCU's minus seven. Over under is 68. Game day going to Lawrence for the first time ever. I've already put it in. I was in Philly last night for the dozen. Also the Philly. You're, 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 you're on TCU, obviously. I'm on TCU. Uh, also Philly coming up. We got the, the Barstool Invitational. November 11th, Friday. In Philly, Wells Fargo. We're, we're putting on a college basketball tournament. Tickets available. Tickets available. Come out. We're going to have all kinds of cool stuff happening, barstool stuff in halftime. Uh, you we got to figure that out. Nadu, Nadu asked if we do the halftime show with him. I think he's got to show us his cock. It's, it's persuasive. <laughs> um, or at least, at least let us know where it is. <laughs> I, he really dangled his cock out there, being like, hey, good luck find my cock. It's on OnlyFans. Yeah. Happy hunting. Yeah. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. <laughs> Fucking rascal. Um, yeah, but this, uh, yeah, yeah. Friday, Friday, November 11th, Veterans Day. It's going to be great. Um, there's rumors of possibly in between games having uh, a yak basketball game take place, which would be hilarious of people running up and down the court, not dribbling. Um, but yeah, we're going to do some fun stuff. So get excited. Uh, Dave, you first, or I, I went first. I'm taking TCU minus seven. My reasoning, if you've looked at Kansas, great story, awesome story. Very happy for Kansas. They have gotten a little bit worse almost every single week this, this year. And so it's fading in the wrong direction. They have played, uh, an FCS team, West Virginia, is the 34th ranked offense so not bad Houston 79 Duke 40 Iowa State 84 not exactly murderers row for offenses TCU is the number two offense in in the country I think they're 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 on a different level right now and they kind of have a defense to match so I'm taking TCU minus seven yeah it makes all the sense in the world and I had TCU last week but Kansas has been good for me Les Miles got the boys going ever since that quote. I, I'm not going to bet the game, and I'm going to take uh, I'm going to take Kansas. Okay, Kansas plus seven. Uh, but I but everything you said makes sense. Yeah. But I I just they've been good to me. When teams are good, I like to stick with them. Yep, I agree. Go ahead. I'm with you. I really like TCU. Okay. A lot of pressure comes with game day, right? You look uh, more interviews, more eyeballs, players' heads a little bit bigger. Uh, TCU is away from that. They get to go in there, spoil the party. You look at common opponents, or not common opponents, but just the schedule. Kansas, Tennessee Tech, West Virginia, who's eh, a Houston team who's falling apart with Dana, Duke, and Iowa State. TCU has beaten Colorado and Tarlington State, who suck, but SMU and Oklahoma, who are real legit teams. Sonny Dykes gets them going. Max Dugan's legit. I think it's Tennessee big. Okay. Wait, Tennessee? I'm, so- I'm sorry, TCU big. Sorry, it's TCU yeah, yeah. big. Yeah, yeah, TCU. All right. Um... 
Next game. Actually, do the, do another ad, Rico, and then we got three more games we're going to get to. Uh, let's talk to you about our friends at Skrill. Something coming soon to the Barstool Sportsbook. Skrill is a digital wallet perfect for gamblers. Skrill is for money movers and makers, allowing you to instantly deposit and withdraw your money. Sophisticated gamblers use Skrill to manage their bankroll, whether they're playing games like poker or betting on their favorite sports. It's one of the safest and most com most secure digital wallets, and once is once it's part of the Barstool Sportsbook, you'll be able to deposit and withdraw instantly without limits. Skrill also lets you transfer money to another Skrill member and take advantage of some of the best transfer rates around. Make sure to sign up at skrill.com slash barstool to create your free account and complete the account verification by clicking follow the game after registering so you can start using the digital wallet today. Okay, good job, Rico. Good ad read. Thank you, Skrill. Uh, Utah UCLA, great game. Very excited for this game. What time is this game being played? Snake I think it's 3.30. Ah. Um, UCLA plus four over under 64 and a half. I had UCLA last week. That was great. That was great. They just fucking put it on Washington. I had the over. They had that. I had the over as well. Um, that one play where the quarterback uh, – is it still Dorian? Yeah, DTR. He he did that he he did that like stop on a dime and the two Washington players fucking hit each other was that's all time like you're just embarrassing this team when that happens. Um, Dave, your thoughts on I'm this gonna game. start by saying I looked a little more into that Kansas. I think Kansas is you can argue is the best team TCU has played. That includes Oklahoma. So I'm I think they can keep that close. Moving on, uh, I like Utah and the over here. Rico. I think UCLA is coming off that big game. This is Utah's ready for this team. I think Utah is better than this team. Uh, I think Utah is the best team in the Pac-12. I think they beat this team. I'm definitely going to take the over. Um, I do think both offenses to score. I worry a little bit about UCLA with the pressure and and Utah. Utah does have a best a way better defense. Um, UCLA has given up a lot of points to people, uh, and I think this tough defense is going to show some tests. I would say it's Utah and the over. Okay. I'm going to take UCLA in the over. I just think this is this is a look ahead spot for Utah. They got USC at home next week. Um, UCLA, I there's something about the Rose Bowl because there's like ten people in the stands. It's hard to get up. It's hard to get up. Like you could see it in that Washington game. It was a Friday night and it was empty. And it's it's it definitely is a different environment when it's empty like that. Um, I think you I think UCLA will will, will keep this game close. Uh, next up, BYU Notre Dame night game. Excited for this game. You don't like this game? I. It's just yeah. I mean Notre Dame's. I mean they're Notre Dame. Still. Yeah, they're still Notre Dame. That makes sense. They're still Notre Dame. What's the line? BYU plus three and a half. Over under is fifty one. BYU's been a little disappointing this year. They were, they yeah, have. there were rumors they were going to be the Group of Five team to get into the the bowls, go possibly undefeated. They rumors. Were, Speculation, yeah. How do we predictions? Oh, yeah, no, rumors was probably the wrong word. Yeah, yeah. Predictions, predictions. Yeah, Brandon was high on him for sure. We talked about him over the summer. Seems like a rat line. I hate it. Give me Notre Dame plus the points. Okay. No, Notre Dame's favorite. Notre Dame's favorite. Yes. Notre Dame minus three and a half. That's how off the grid this game is for me. Sorry, Notre what Dame. What was the game you would have picked? Um, Wazoo USC. Okay. But, no, it makes sense. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to take BYU. I think this is a field goal game. I agree. I'm taking BYU as well. And I've sworn BYU off, but I'm taking them as well. Um, all right, last game. Texas. I don't understand. Rico thought it was a rat line, but he thought. I, I, he even confused me there. Because he took Notre Dame thinking they're minus three and a half. And then plus three and a half. I mean, plus three and a half, and he still took a minus three and a half. Yeah. I'm making a pick on that. I don't love that game at all. I'll be honest. I'm just making a pick. What? I, what? So, what's the swing here? Could Notre Dame, Notre Dame between plus seven and minus seven? Notre Dame is minus Dame? three and a half, right? Yes. So, why is Notre Dame favorite against BYU? I do think BYU. Is that Notre Dame at night? Yeah. I, I, people, a lot of people go into Notre Dame and beat them, though. I think BYU is the better team. Why is Notre Dame favored? Give me Notre Dame. Okay. It's in, it's in Las but you Vegas. gotta take them even. It's, when not, it's not, not at Notre Dame, right? Yeah, it's in Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Oh, well, that's that even more of a factor. That's completely weird. Uh, 
Oh, I remember that. What it, the Shamrocks Catholics and the series. Mormons yeah, in yeah, Vegas? Yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. Shamrock. Why would you series. send the Mormons to Vegas? That's nuts. That's crazy. Yeah. All right. So the, I mean, Notre Dame should pick. That's fine. Yeah, Notre we, Dame. You want you want to add USC Wazoo to no, the no 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 to the because I have a pick anyway. No, it's you do this. We always do that. There's I always one. Add that... Wazoo and USC. Wazoo versus USC. Come on, guys, get along. Wazoo versus USC. Go ahead, Rico. You intro this game. We'll do seven games this week. That's cool. I, I think, like it. I think USC is in a look ahead spot here. Okay. Okay. USC's offense has been dynamic. Their defense definitely has holes. Uh, Cam Ward can't turn over the ball. If he turns over the ball, they're in trouble. But I like this Wazoo team um, plus 13. Two, like two, Give me two scores to stay in that number. I think Wazoo will be right down to it. Wouldn't surprise me if Wazoo pulls the upset. Okay. Wazoo plus the 13. Did you see, Dave, that clip I posted of uh, you know that USC is back when they got all these towel guys just whipping everyone on the sideline? <laughs> I didn't see that. I'm gonna text it to you right now. You love it. It's like such a, it's such a like uh, first year head coach like culture change. We got this uh, change of. Uh, hold on, I'm gonna show it to you. It was it was crazy. I was sitting there watching it because I was thinking I was gonna have to pay all this money for Mizzou Bar, and uh, I had this game on the other TV. Three TVs, no big deal. Um, and it just caught my eye out of the corner of the TV. I was like, what the fuck is going oh, on yeah, here? I just got it. Watch that. Put that in. Put that in the YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just yeah, whipping yeah. them, all of them. Yeah, just going fucking yeah. nuts. Uh, all right, what's your pick in this game, Dave? Uh, I like Wazoo to keep it close. I think Leach has got a good team there. I don't agree necessarily. I'm not just picking. I, Wait, who? I can see <laughs> what Leach. Yeah, Coach Wazoo. Oh yeah, he's where, where is he now? Leach is at. No uh, help. No lifelines. No, no, help. no, no, no lifelines. No lifelines. I know where he's at. I, I do know where he's at because I saw his fucking Want to make it multiple choice? Want to make it multiple choice? No, you got this, Dave. I believe yeah, in you. Come on. This is your this is your Mr. Portnoy <laughs> Uber Chowder Patriots moment. <laughs> I forgot that he left fucking. <laughs> he uh, left a while he ago. Is, this is Surf Lodge, not the man. He, he left a while ago, like three years. No, I know he did. Yeah. I, and he had controversy. He sued the school, didn't he? That he was Texas Tech. Or is that yeah. Texas Tech? Yeah, Texas Tech. I mean, yeah. Put a kid in the closet. Where the fuck did he go? Hold <laughs> oh, he's at he's at Mississippi. Yeah, oh, all right. Let's go, KB. All right. All right. That brain still works, folks. He's locked in. Listen, when I say it's guys coach him up who's not there, that bolds well for the team. I don't know who their coach is. Their coach actually is the one who got fired, right? For some ridiculous reason. Last year their coach I yeah, think what got role fired for the COVID thing? Yeah, vaccination, I he think. He wouldn't get yeah, he wouldn't yeah, get yeah, the yeah. shot. Rolovich. Yeah, so see, the, 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 the train tracks start going. The train tracks start going. Uh, I, I don't think it's really a look ahead for USC. Washington State's 4-1. and one. They're playing pretty good. I know they got Utah the week after, but I, I, 13 points is a lot because they should have beaten Oregon. Yes. Washington State should have beaten Oregon. They should be undefeated. They're a pretty good team. Yeah. So I'll take the points. All right. And I like the over. Yeah, I'm going to take the over in this game. Uh, what is it, 66? Yeah, 66. I'll, I'll, I'm on the over USC as well. gives up a ton of points to everybody. So Yeah. Um, all right, last game, Texas A&M, Alabama. I just realized I have overs and just favorites. This is a disaster. This is a debacle. I just looked I at my card, the, I and I was I like, the board oh, as well. God. I don't like the board. I have two, two underdogs. Fuck, this is bad. All right, uh, Texas A&M, Alabama. Alabama's minus 24, over under is 51 and a half. Jalen Milrow is probably uh, quarterbacking for Alabama. Can't really throw, but a fucking insane athlete. That Young run hurt, right? against, yeah, Bryce Young is day to day, but I, I would imagine, I would imagine he's not playing in this game. Little stat for you, uh, Nick Saban in revenge spots. So team he loses to next year, they play him eleven and four against the spread. Yeah, and they hate each other. Hate. So I don't. I think I could go on the center, and Saban would figure it out to fucking run this up. They hate. Well, each other. Well, you're not coachable. Right. Got it. Uh, I mean, that's Nick Saban would be like, hey, Rico, we're going to want you to hand it off. And you'd be like, no, I'm throwing and not blogging. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Got it. Just okay. what? That was perfect. Yeah, sure. By the way. Got I it. said at the exact time you did. Got it. So what do, what, what do you got here? Alabama. <laughs> what? Come on. Keep going. I got Alabama. Keep think, going. That's, he's going to figure it out. Saban hates fucking Jimbo Fisher. He yep. takes shots all the time. I agree with you. He's he's going to go nuts. Even if it's close at the half, he'll figure it out. Maybe they'll give Bryce Young a fucking injection, whatever. 
They'll figure it out. They'll run it up. Okay. I, I and I know it's like you. it hasn't been great laying. You know, everybody thinks Bama, Bama. It's super, super squary. This one's a spot where I think you do get. And I haven't really bet Bama at all this year, but um, this is the spot to lay it. Yep. I got Alabama as well, minus 24. Dave, what are your thoughts on this game? Hey, I'm going to take A&M. Uh, I, it's so obvious what you guys just said and the hatred there is real that it, is, it just – I I don't know. I mean, A and M has looked like trash, obviously, but they still got some athletes, and we'll see if they have any pride. I, I are they gonna go in there? I mean, twenty. What is it? Twenty four. That's so 24. many fucking. Yeah. What is it? Twenty twenty four. Right. Yeah. Twenty. So I mean, you you could, you you may need a late touchdown to win by thirty. Like you're like you're covering twenty four. You push or twenty three, and then a touchdown puts at thirty. That gets you the cover. That. 30 points is a massacre. It's a fucking massacre. Like A&M has guys, 30 points is a goddamn massacre. So I'll take A&M. And I, what I'm saying with the 30 yeah. is it, you're, you're 23. You're, you're covering with A&M. No, you're he right. He brings up a good point. What's, yeah, what's I'm gonna Bama's take, team total? I'm going to take – you know what, Dave? You talked me off the game because you're right. I'm going to take uh, Alabama minus 6.5 first quarter, minus 12.5 half first half. Because I think that will be – that's that's the angle of, like – Or they're... even look at the reverse. You're fucking Bama and you're up 50 to 20. That sounds like, all right, that was easy. Yeah, and A&M and goes and scores at the end. You don't co- – I mean, th- that that is like a massacre line. And it probably will be a massacre, but you can win by massacre and lose. Right. That's true. All right, so then get, uh, I'll go, go away from the 24. Give me Bama's team total. 37 and a half. Give me that, and then give me the half with Alabama as well. I agree. They'll come out and punch him in the mouth. First half and team total? First half and team total, not the 24. I got first quarter and point. first half. Uh, all right, uh, Rico, you got another. Oh, you did the other ad. Let me do the ads, last yeah. ad, and then we will do our cards. And then we'll get to blogging. Then we're going to get to blogging, boys. We're going to be blogging after this. Don't you think? Roback, Roback Active Wear. It's safe to say we bet on these guys any day of the week because we absolutely love their gear. Roback makes the sharpest performance polos, performance hoodies, and Q-zips pullovers in the game, but they just made the biggest announcement of the year. They released new performance joggers. I tried them on. I wore them all Sunday. They're incredible. Nicest joggers I've ever owned. These joggers are absolute game changers. Comfortable, functional, and versatile. We just tried them and can't take them off. Roback has been gaining traction big time. Roback's even worked with some of college football's biggest stars and Will Anderson, Michael Mayer, and Bijan Robinson. Use code PICK on Roback for a 20% off your first purchase through the end of this week. That's spelled R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com. That's 20% off all polos, Q-zips, and hoodies with code PICK. The perfect gear for football season. Make sure to jump on their performance joggers right now. I'm telling you, perfect weekend. Like, you don't want to be that guy who's walking around in sweatpants anymore. Get the joggers just as comfortable, maybe even more comfortable, and you feel good, look good, play good. Roback.com, R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com. Use code PICK for 20% off all polos, Q-zips, and hoodies with code PICK. I'm wearing them. They're unbelievable. They're so good. They're incredible. Dave, you want to start with your card? Yeah, like I said, I I I had to go up and down. I, I don't like the card, and we talked about most of the games that I put on there almost by force. Um, the over in Texas – Oklahoma, 65 and a half, probably sucker. This one I do like. Uh, I like Utah plus three and a half. I like the over in that game, the UCLA, 64 and a half. Uh, Washington State plus 13, not not with uh, Mike Leach. He's a couple schools removed. Um, the over in that game, 66. And I'll that that's literally all I got. I'll wait Damn. for my mortal lock. Damn. Okay. Uh, I'll do mine real quick. I got uh, Wake Army over 33 and a half first half. Um, Memphis minus three. Boise minus seven. Kent State minus six. UTSA Western Kentucky over 73. That's going to be a pace, pace, pace game. I gave this last week. Georgia Tech outright winners, 23-point oh, underdogs. Yeah, that was a good pick. You're taking again the interim coach? I'm taking them again. Georgia Tech yeah, I'll plus add three. That. I'll add that versus Duke, right? Yep. Versus Duke at home, plus three. I'm also going to take over 54 in that game. I'm going to take Mississippi State at home against Arkansas, minus nine. Uh, Arkansas, K.J. Jefferson might be out, their quarterback. 
They have they're coming off playing Texas A&M and Alabama, both very emotional games. They have to be drained. I just don't see how they can get up off the mat off that one, especially if they don't have their quarterback. Mississippi State minus nine, um, stinker. Nevada minus three and a half. Probably the two worst teams in college football on Friday night. Nevada and Colorado State. Yeah, so that's weird that they're. We've always talked about that on Pick'em. Somehow somebody's always on the pick. Colorado and Colorado State don't play this year. It would have been like the toilet bowl. Yeah, it's interesting. they usually play first game of the season. Yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. much. Crazy that they're not playing this year. Yeah, and I, uh, I will be adding at some point. I'll be there. Will be there. Will be there. there will, will be ads. ads. That's like yeah, maybe the, I'll add too because they're gonna be in Jersey, so I can't see myself not betting more. But I really this fucking card sucked for me. Yeah, there will, will be ads. Right. There I'll be will ready. Be ads. There will be a lot of ads. Shout out Dukes. Oh, and uh, sorry, Wednesday night tonight, UCF minus two and a half. Blake Portal's retirement game. I don't know if you saw Dave. <laughs> I did. Blake in the most Blake way ever retired live on part of my take today because he was just like, yeah, I retired and I just didn't tell anyone. Um. They got to be pumped up for that. It's a big moment. That's a big moment. UCF legend. So, minus two and a half. Wednesday night football. Nothing better. I kind of like SMU. Okay, then take SMU. I don't like it enough to bet it. Who's like Memphis SMU. playing? Why did I write that down? Houston. That's why. Houston's, I love Coach Dana, but that's a problem. They're. They got I watched on, that yeah. game, and they are. They don't know what they're doing. It's bad. Coach Dana will turn it around, but. It's it's not good right now. Rico. TCU minus seven versus Kansas. We touched on that. Air Force minus ten in a revenge game. Air Force lost the conference last year in heartbreaking fashion. Utah State's D allows thirty six point eight points per game. They're on a new quarterback. Uh I said, yeah, Utah State's defense a lot. I'm on Air Force minus the ten. UNC plus three and a half. Uh, I should have taken them even heavier than last. Virginia Tech is horrible. I knew UNC was going to go. I think Miami's in disarray. Van Dyke's been playing shitty. Drake May's legit. 19 touchdowns, one pick. I think UNC, I don't even think I need the points. UNC, um, outright. Katie, are you worried about that one? You were worried about last week. Oh, we're about defense, not really offense. They're playing Miami, right? Yeah. yeah. Danny Boy Kane is guaranteed it. Guaranteed a he's Miami. Guar- he's, he's guaranteed a Miami victory. Okay. Wow. Wow. Wazoo plus. Add Miami to my card, wow. please. Wow. That's, that's, that's how you absolutely come in someone's hole. disrespectful for me not to believe what. I've never heard Danny Boy King guarantee a victory before. He guaranteed it. All right. Oh, They've but, had a week off. They had a week off, right? Yeah. yeah. From their loss. Yeah. Max been good against teams off of rest, though, against the spread. I read that's that. I forgot one pick. Totally forgot it. It's my line in the sand. I have to do it as an alumni. Wisconsin minus nine and a half against Northwestern. Got to support my guy, Jim Leonard, my favorite Badger of all time. Obviously, shocking. Add it. Add it. Yep, let's go. Thanks. Add Wisconsin. I mean, Jim Leonard's going to have them pumped up. Like, that's just a bounce-back game. They couldn't be worse. They were just the worst performance I've seen Wisconsin have probably ever against Illinois. Illinois just absolutely whomped them. Wisconsin minus nine and a half. That's got to be on my card. And I actually think I said that I would donate all the winnings to uh, Jim Leonard getting a hot tub or something so we can keep him because he's going to turn it around. Shocking that they fired a coach mid-season for a school. We haven't fired anyone. I've been saying it everywhere because it's a fun fact. 1995, Stan Van Gundy, Wisconsin head head coach basketball. I wrote a bro- blog about Paul Christ today. That a boy. Scott Post. Let's go. What it, what was out. the what was the takeaway? Nice job. Said Let's Paul, read it. Paul Christ should take every cent that's owed to him in that buyout. Well, the buyout, I think, was for, like, he wouldn't get paid for another few years. Like, you get the money now, you invest it. The market's down by the dip. I want the $20 million. Okay. I made a case. I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm to read the hell out of that. All right. Thing. Seven seasons at Wisconsin. And I know Ev kind of, like, put a little hole in it. He was like, he did just kind of right the ship. You guys were going good. But seven seasons, um, his worst finish was third on his side of the division. Oh, I know. Three he seconds, a- three firsts. 72% wins overall, 70% in the Big Ten, three New Year's Six Bowls. But you can't do – he did three things. You can do one of the three things that he did this year and be okay at Wisconsin. They lost a non-conference game at home where they were heavy favorites. Can't do that. They were non-competitive against Ohio State. Can't do that. You can lose to Ohio State. We lose every year to Ohio State. But you have to be at least a little competitive. And then they got absolutely whomped by Illinois, who they should not right. lose to. Even though Brett has it going in the right direction there, 
those three things before fucking October, it's I mean that's a disaster. It was it's as disastrous. Wisconsin's been good to very good for 25 years. This is the first time where it's like they're just a bad football team. Yeah, I'm not even saying he shouldn't have been fired, but it, he does. I think he does. He's done enough to deserve every dime. If I was him, I'd take every dime. But it wasn't what it wasn't his payout. When was it? It was 20 million, and he took 11. Yeah, but when would he have gotten the 20 million? That's the question. Cause like I would rather have the money now if it's a way long in the future. I don't know. I don't know how long it was in yeah, the future. That, also, I guess it's, that depends. He's a Mad- He was born in Madison. He's a Madison QB. He's been in Mad. He's been in Madison more than half his life. I think he wants to. You know, we're gonna need to. We're gonna need to help Rico with some blog choices. Okay. All right. Good blog. I'm gonna read that as well. Not not so much that, but I was scrolling down, looking for that blog, and there's a lot of good blogs on. The main page, a lot of good topics, controversial, this, that. The 5-1 running back is not going to just – that's just not going to generate a whole ton of clicks. Washington you're minus – Washington you're minus 14, San Jose minus problems. 7, Oakland. State minus oh, nine. oh, oh no, no. I didn't what hear – I he threw his mic. Well, I'll read it right here. I mean – you're bigger this than your problems. This is coaching. Your right. Cornell has enough. a five. Yeah, it's one not enough to embarrass it. it. You, you got to pile it on. Jump on that pile. I'm not piling on. Swamp Scott's I'm finest. I'm not piling on. Jump on that this finest. Is, this is a coachable moment. Got it. Jump on that pile. Cornell, you're bigger than your problems. You're bigger. Wait, than your this problems. is a coachable moment. I'm telling you, this was not a blog choice. Got it. You're bigger than your problems. Jump on that pile. Serenity what now. Pile? I'm trying to get time management's a key here. We only get five hours a day. We got to make them count. He said six. Touche. Six. <laughs> I stand corrected. See, we all make mistakes. Cornell College has a five-one running back on his roster, proving it's not the size of the dog in the fight. It's the size of the fight the dog. Cool story. Nineteen carries, one hundred sixteen. <laughs> Is nineteen. <laughs> He get to He's them. 19 carries this year for 616 yards. Two receptions for three yards this season. Last season, he rushed for 41 times for 195 yards. Pretty solid when he break down his yards per carry. However, it seems very clear his message to do more off the field than on it. Talk about guys who haven't hit their uh, – Bro, he's proud guys who haven't hit their growth sport yet. Listen, this is Brico. Football can be a ter- terrific measure of character. Getting hit, getting back up, committing to a group of teammates where you vow to work together, overcoming adversity, preparation, dedication, true, true something stuff. He hasn't made an excuse or blamed anyone about the hand he was dealt. He just shows up, does job, contributes. A reminder that while sports has a good amount of negatives, there are always more positives. Great to see him understand the impact he can have on kids in a similar situation. He needs someone to tell them they can while the rest of the world tells them they can't do his credit. He does have some moves in open spaces. So all I'm saying is that those type of blogs don't generally pile the numbers up. Yeah, but some things are bigger than sports, Dave. They are. Not this kid. He's five one, but some things. It's a good story, but what I – Spend time doing that as opposed to maybe find a guy in India who has a tree grown out of his arm. (laughs) (laughs) That didn't cross my feet. That one didn't cross my feet. This one crossed my feet. This was a quick one. Like it's almost, and I don't mean it is a, I guess, heart lifting, uplifting story. uh, If we're doing like Hallmark, like Christmas specials. Right. But that's not totally our audience, you know? Like let, like the other headlines on the page, they they jump out and I like I if I didn't know who the author was, and I was grading the headlines, you know it it it, it just that plays a factor the story and then we're gonna work we're gonna buddy system that's coaching you get mad at it but that's coaching that's coaching baby love it. Rico, what was the rest of your card? Washington minus 14 is off a loss. They're playing a bad Arizona State team. I thought Arizona State got gassed up last week with USC. Put a little Great fight. helmets they were wearing. Washington off a loss. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Washington off a loss. They they pound them. Uh, Penix, Where's that game? 
believe it's at Arizona State. Yeah, okay. it's at. Yeah, but uh, Penix is pretty good. He'll get back on track. San Jose State minus seven. Uh, I like Cordero, the kid from uh, Hawaii, who's now at San Jose State. Um, they got a stout defense. Give me San Jose State minus seven against um, New Mexico. Uh, Add oh. that to my card. Uh, oh. UNLV. 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 Add that to my um, card. I want to be in your hole. I crossed off New Mexico. Oklahoma State minus nine and a half. I don't care that it's a look ahead. Texas Tech's allowed 17 sacks. Their quarterback's thrown seven INTs. Texas Tech's defense allowed 7.13 yards per carry against Texas and Kansas State. Oklahoma can run the rock. That's a great environment. Gundy gets them going. Gundy hangs it on him. Minus nine and a half. Where's that? Oklahoma State. Add that to my card. Pokes. Look at that. Me and you, Rico. I'm in your hole. Mortal Locks. I have TCU minus seven. I'm staying relegated, so it will again be Rico, Dukes, and Dave. I got to get above 500 before I unrelegate myself. Rico. Kate State minus two. K State minus two. Iowa State had 26 rush yards against Kansas last week. I love Kansas State's defense. Um, Martinez and Vaughn will excel against this Iowa State team. Uh, and Kleiman is 9 5 and 1 against the spread on the road. K State, Wildcats, a true contender in the Big 12. Minus two. Like it. Aria. I'm on K State as well. All, All right. right. Bubba. Uh, I'm taking Rutgers plus three. We're Rutgers plus Ooh. three will be there. Yep. College football yeah, show. Friday night. 5.30 is the show. TJ's entire reputation is on the line as a human being. His whole family. His whole families. I'm going to take K-State, too. Just for Rico's hole. Look at that. We're just trying, we're trying to get back to being riders, baby. We ride. That's what we do. That's all we know how to do. I, I hate this pick so much that I turn to love it. Houston plus three. They destroyed me last Friday. I'm Whoa. taking them this Friday. Wait, no. You got to do a Saturday game. Saturday game? Yeah. You're in the pick and parlay. More tickets. Call me back. Call you back. All right, Katie. Oh, I got it. You know what? Uh, I'm going to come in your hole, Dan. I'm going to take TCU minus seven. Okay, I like it. So I'm in spirit. I'm in the pick and parlay. That would have been my I like that. Pick, I like too. that. Um, it's gross, but Michigan, Indiana, first half under 30 and a half. Ooh, okay, Katie. I like that pick. That is gross. Uh, Dave. LSU. LSU plus three. Love them. Wow. This is the only pick I liked in the whole card. Wow. Quick question for Only the Bob Diaco. Yeah. Um, can I have Houston plus three count towards the Bob Diaco? Yes. Okay. And then TCU I'll put in the uh, pick and parlay. That works. Are there any restrictions? So I'm just unrelegated. Yeah. How about we just do yeah, that? Right, I'm yeah, unrelegated. Yeah, yeah. I'm unrelegated. Yeah. I'll like I to want, relegate myself. I'm unrelegated. I'm back in the pick and parlay. So it's uh, the pick and parlay. Bet on the Barstool Sportsbook. It will be TCU probably minus six and a half. It will be LSU probably three and a half. And it will be... K-State. K so are there any... Let's clear it now because we run into the problems. Are there any holdups in Louisiana, Kansas, or Iowa? No. Or we're Tennessee? Good. No. Because Tennessee, LSU? No. No? no. We're good. We're good. We're good to go. The boys are back. We're going to blog our asses off. We won't have asses. I'm on du Dukes' ass. Buddy we're system. Gonna, we're going to get some ammo. We're going to get some ammo for Rico. So we walk in there and it's like fucking the Brinks job. You know, we're going to have, we're going to be armed to the teeth of the negotiation. Let's go, Rico. All right, we'll see everyone next week. Good luck this weekend.